Dr. Jawa, we want to congratulate you on such a prestigious award from the entire CSU system, the 2017 Wong Family Excellence Award. It is quite a prestigious award and it is um, really um, identifies and recognizes the great work that you've done uh, in not only your teaching, but also your scholarly work, as well as your service to the university and the community. What does this mean to you? Thank you, Dr. Coley. It's difficult for me to describe my feelings about this award. I am deeply honored and humbled to receive this award. If I am a good teacher, it's because I have good students. Mm -hmm. How can I be a good teacher without good students. Mm -hmm. So all credit goes to students. Mm -hmm. I am also lucky to be in a place like Cal Poly Pomona where I have these incredible students, friendly faculty and supportive staff. Well, you're certainly an excellent example of the teacher-scholar model, which we fully embrace here at Cal Poly uh, Pomona. Share a little bit about how you balance uh, all of that. Well, the word scholarly work kind of intimidates me. It may be because I'm an engineer and I look at everything as a problem and try to fix it. Honestly, I think it is my ignorance about things that drives me to explore new topics. Mm -hmm. And as I learn something about a new topic, if I get excited about it, I do further research. You're always in an active learning mode. You don't feel like you ever stop learning. Yeah. It just part of everyday life. And then that carries over to the students that you're engaged Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Very good. Now your specialty is biomimicry. The word itself seems absolutely fascinating. So tell me a little bit about that field. If you look at the human history, throughout human history, nature has inspired us to do different things. Mm -hmm. Whether it is our desire to fly or travel the ocean, we got solutions from nature. So biomimicry, in my opinion, is a design process to find sustainable solution to our problems. In fact, I would like to really use a new term. Biomimicry-based design is really a life-centered design. Mm -hmm. Most engineers design things for a customer or for a company. People talk about human-centered design, which can make a difference for all the people. But life-centered design, in my opinion, goes one step beyond and accounts for all the life forms. Well, it's fascinating and it certainly seems to connect with uh, the interests of a lot of our students and, and faculty and staff with regards to sustainability and regenerative studies. And so there's a real natural affinity for this Absolutely. work, it seems. And it is also truly multidisciplinary. Yeah. Engineers have to work with biologists. Right. We got to work with people from sustainability studies. You know, you got to work with people from all around. Sure. Uh, Let's switch subjects for a moment and uh, talk about something that I know that we both are very uh, committed to, and that is really trying to engage girls and, and young women at an early age in the sciences. So tell me a little bit about how you came to this. This is really personal for me. Mm. Um, I have 10 siblings, eight of them are sisters. Huh? Okay. Every single one of them is smarter and hardworking than me. Mm -hmm. But I had better opportunities. What if my sister had the same opportunity that I had? I live here, I have three daughters, who we raised here, right. that means they were given the opportunities that my sister did not have. Right. But even then, two of them are engineers, and I find them, I feel my kids are not getting enough. Mm -hmm. Now I think about these young girls in our community whose parents probably do not have the same educational qualifications as me. Right. How are they going to get those opportunities? So what I want for my daughters, if I want for them, I should have it available for others. Mm -hmm. It is this drive that has led me to work with people in the College of Engineering to develop feminiers and other outreach programs. Mm -hmm. It reaches hundreds of middle school and high school girls. Right. We are helping them to learn skills right. that actually we teach in college. Mm -hmm. So it's an exciting program, it is personal, and I can't wait for these young girls come to <laughs> Yes, and in fact, I know with the robot rally and uh, with so many uh, activities, that is making 
uh, a significant difference. But what advice would you give to young faculty or young students who are thinking about academia? If anybody can adopt these three things, mm -hmm. don't force teaching, mm -hmm. content is really an experience, not passing information, and then help students reinvent the wheel, can actually rediscover ourselves as better people and help students learn. So it sounds like your engagement with students really enriches you, that you are in fact, uh, you learn every day through your engagement with students. There is no question about it. Yeah. All credit goes to the students. Yeah. In fact, you asked me what it means, this award. It really means that students come first. Mm -hmm. Well, again, Dr. Jawa, on behalf of the entire Cal Poly Pomona family, uh, the faculty, the staff, the students, and the alumni, Congratulations, and I look forward to proudly standing there with you as the CSU Board of Trustees bestows this important award upon you. Thank you again. Thank you, Dr. Cook. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay.